What's up everyone, Tom the Dilettante here, and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Thursday. Today I'm going to answer a common question I get on the capabilities of this RTL Software Defined Radio or SDR dongle. Specifically, can this thing pick up shortwave and high frequency transmissions? Now remember, I'm not an authority on this topic. I haven't even been a licensed amateur for a year yet. I just really dig sharing what I learn as I learn it with others. And this subject is pretty cool and definitely deserves a longer video. But for today, I'm just going to answer this question and quickly share with you how I got it to work and my experiences so far. So let's put three minutes on the clock and get started. So let me just cut right to the chase and say, yes, you can listen to shortwave radio frequencies on this little SDR dongle. And for the purpose of this video, I'm using the RTL SDR V3 dongle and SDR Sharp software that I had used in a previous video. You can find links to both of these items in the description below. Now up to this point, I've been limiting my SDR tinkering to the VHF and UHF bands, mostly because they're convenient, have lots of interesting stuff on them, and they're easily received with the little telescopic whip I've been using to date. Shortwave, or HF listening, on the other hand, requires you to do a few things differently based off of what I've learned so far. First, HF radio propagation is generally best at night, so the time of day that you're listening will make a difference. Next, in SDR Sharp, you need to change the sampling in the settings from quadrature sampling to direct sampling Q branch. Now note, it's important that you have the V3 version of the dongle because this direct sampling mode is actually a hardware mod that didn't come with pre-V3 RTL dongles. Finally, the antenna. Shortwave radio operates primarily in the high frequency or HF band. This range of 3 to 30 megahertz means listening to radio wavelengths between 10 and 100 meters long. And it's my understanding that it's common practice to have an antenna that's at least a quarter of the length of the wavelength you want to receive. This means we're going to need an antenna between 2.5 and, and 25 meters, or around 8 to 80 feet long. I don't have an antenna that big, and since I'm trying to keep this simple and cheap, I just grabbed a spare spool of 16 gauge wire I had lying around, strung up what I could in the backyard, which ended up being around 18 meters or 60 feet, and ran it to my SDR whip antenna using a simple alligator clip. And with this makeshift antenna, let me tell you, it ended up working out pretty well. Check it out. Let's start with something pretty low on the radio spectrum, like at or below 1 megahertz. The first thing that comes to my mind in this area are AM radio stations. With the small extendable whip antenna alone, I get some signal, but it's not very strong. Listen here. Now, check out what happens when I connect my 60-foot simple wire antenna. Pretty cool, right? Once I did this, a whole new world of listening opened up. I got the 80-meter ham band. And, uh, the damn thing failed and messed my amplifier up. The 40-meter ham band. Here we have both voice and CW examples. You are a sea contest. Anyone, anywhere, but especially Canadians. Whiskey Bravo Zero, Tango, Echo, Victor. The atomic clock from radio station WWV near Fort Collins, Colorado at 15 megahertz. And other random things, like this weird military sounding transmission. This is Lunchbox, Fort Collins, stand by. And this broadcast in French. Now, I'm sure there are fancier, more technical, and better ways to do this, but in the pursuit of simply answering the question, can it be done, I'm going to call it and say, with little more than a long piece of wire, yes, it can. Now, I'm going to continue playing around with this and trying to learn more, and if you find this interesting, I would encourage you to play around with it as well. Or, if you've already done this or have advice and experiences to share, please leave them in the comments below for myself and others. That's it for this 3 Minute Thursday. If you like this video, please hit that like button to let me know whether or not I should make more content like this. As always, thank you for sharing your time with me, and until the next time, this is Tom the Dilettante saying happy tinkering. 73.